Hello once again and welcome to this uh, yet another video in this series of um, video demonstration on how to uh, create and uh, how to locate uh, free video resources for education purposes and that you'll be able to remix and that you'll be able to adapt and that you'll be able to share especially on Moodle learning management system. Uh, in terms of creating videos, um, this series of videos that I'm creating, I'm recording it with OpenCast, which is also a free tool, and uh, which is which also does not require registration. So in terms of creating videos, uh, that one is already addressed through the creation of this series of videos. Uh, in this particular um, demonstration, I would like to take you through on the process of locating free videos tools that you can remix or that you can adopt to your own context or to your own situation. You don't always have to reinvent the wheels. There are times when you need to record your own videos, but there are times you need to look at the videos that have been already been created and are freely shared, and you will just be able to adopt them. So there is a, a site called Internet Archive. Um, and this site is it's, it's, it's a collection of a lot of, uh, it does not only contain videos, it contains a collection of all the other types. You will see the web, the books, the video, audio, software, images. You, all those, all the resources that are shared here, every member of this Internet Archive, when they are uploading, they confirm that these videos or these resources are in public domain. Now, in terms of open education, uh, or open resources, the, the, the resources that are licensed or that are at the level of public domain are the most open one because they can, you can almost do anything with them. You can remix them, you can edit them, and you can share them. But of course, uh, um, ethical usage should always um, apply. So in this presentation, we are focusing on videos. So I'll click on videos. Um, because I want to, I want to particularly look at videos, and uh, once I expand on videos, I would want to first start with all the videos, because I want to narrow my search later. Okay, so you see all the other type of videos here, or the collection here, but I want to narrow my search to educational technology, so I I can type or just pick it from pick it from there, okay, educational technology, because I'm in this field, so if I search for educational technologies, then I'll find the videos, uh, it's, it's ideal, it's obvious that I'll need to watch uh, the videos, okay, so that I can find the one which is fitting my purpose, so, so let's say I pick this one, and I watch it, and I, after watching it, I, I found out that this is the most fitting video, but perhaps I, knew I will need to cut it here and there, and so on and so on. So I will then have to download the video. Remember, we will look at how to share later this video by various methods, but in this present, in this demo, I particularly want to look at uh, how to make use of, uh, how to download it, because you can only be able to remix it if you download it. If you wish to use it as it is, you can just share it straight away from here. But if you wish to remix it or to edit it and so on, then you should be able to download it here. Now, there are lots of formats under which it can be downloaded. And if you want to download the actual video, you will need to look for, to need to go for the options of the HD high definition. So if I click on it on here, the file will start downloading. Okay, this is a, Oops, this is a rather a bigger video. I could have indeed opted for a much smaller video because this is a, a bigger video. And the bigger videos, when you eventually have to share them with your students, then then they have implications on the they have implications on the on the bandwidth of students. If students themselves would want to download or even play them. Um, so I'll, I'll have to abort this one. Okay, and look for another video because I realize this one is a 90 
supposed to be in over 90 uh, megabytes video and that that's quite a lot so i would want to look for another video this is 90 megabytes let's say um okay i'll 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 browse through them and this one i think this is 90 yeah this is 90 megabytes so it's very important as you browse through the videos to ensure that you you select a video with um um unless if unless okay you have an alternative to say when you uh when you eventually download the video you will be able to further uh trim it so okay i'll download this one somewhere so that we will be able to see how to okay this is even bigger just because of time it might take time i would want to select a much more Okay, let's take this one. So I see here uh, the, the implication of the of the video size. Okay, uh, why it might take you a lot of time to download. You just need to be mindful that when you eventually going to edit it, then you eventually have to have a chance to trim it and you also to to reduce the size so that it can be in a size which is more fitting, um, which can be more favorable to sharing with your students. All right, so while the video is downloading, um, you you see here, once you register, you also be able to upload videos here to contribute to open education. Just ensure that whenever you upload the video here, you, up, you, it's the, you have to declare that the video is your own work and uh, you, you you are not going to infringe on anybody's copyright, right? So also in terms of sharing, while the other one is downloading, is busy downloading, you will see here you have a chance to copy the, the, the HTML codes for embedding and um, you will be able also to copy the, um, the, the, the embedding codes that will fit for the, uh, if, you have, if you are a blogger and you would like to, to put it on the, to edit to your blog, so you can also be able to, to, to access the advanced embedding details. You can get examples and help here. But of course, I won't click here because this will take us a little bit far. We're just trying to find um, something else to do while we are waiting for our download to finish, which will finish in, in the next two minutes. Right, so you you will be able to also download images, remember, okay, that in terms of multimedia, you can add images to videos, okay? So if you are looking for vid images that are in the public domain, you, you can also make use of those images, look for appropriate images that you can remix with your videos or create new videos. And then um, if you just click on images here, and then uh, yeah, I will just say all images, and then I'll narrow the search later, okay? So, you can hit search, um, maybe let's say you want to search relating to artificial intelligence here, then you get the collection of all those images, then you will be able to download, you probably download those images, and I should be able to remix them and so on and so on. Um, okay, we have a few seconds remaining before our file um, open or, or complete downloading. But while it's still finishing, I just thought of taking you through other file formats that you will be able to download or that are available on these sites. And sometimes you can really struggle to find images that are in the public domain. Just to ensure that once again, that you, if you choose to upload images here, you need to upload images that you know that they are your own because anybody will access these images and they will be able to um, remix them even for commercial purpose because it's in the public domain. 
All right, so our file has done, uh, um, is completed downloading. I will just locate it in the folder. Okay, there it is, curious about blockchain education. So let me put it, I will just put it in the, in the correct folder because it's very important to organize your file in 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 in, in specific folders so that you'll be able to locate them um, easily otherwise if you leave them in a download um, folder then you might not be able to okay i think this is it so i paste it here so there we have it. We have downloaded our video. It's a free video. We will be able to remix it. We will be able to do anything to edit it. So in the next video, we will then look at how do we uh, remix those videos. How we will be able to remix? How do we use these tools that we looked at in, in our first demo? How do we remix them with uh, the video that we just downloaded? Thank you. See you in the next video.